<laughs> Thanks for the smooth ride. I sincerely hope I can return the courtesy by slaughtering you quickly and with minimal agony. Good day, Mr. Cassidy. My name is Donald Mencken. I want to assure you that you are a most valued guest here at Ravencroft. We're going to learn a lot from you. And I'll learn a lot from you. Answers you don't even know you have. <laughs> Eager. I like that. Well then, let's get started, shall we? is new. All units, remain on high alert. We've got multiple gang wars breaking out over the Russians' old territories. Everybody wants a piece. It's like the Old West out there, so be careful. Dispatch, my informants keep telling me about a new figure called the Kingpin, who's moving in to fill the power vacuum. No one seems to know his real name. Could you get some information on that for me? Kingpin? <laughs> Great. That's all I need. Some new wannabe trying to build an empire. Escort units, move into position around the convoy. Keep your eyes peeled. We're moving this evidence because too many bad guys want it. Don't expect them to let it go without a fight. stuff that belonged to the hood. That occult crap totally creeps me out. Makes me feel better you're helping us. Thanks. My pleasure. The last thing any of us need is more dangerous stuff on the streets. Not being very subtle, are they? Seems kind of sketchy. Stop there! We'll fill you full of holes! <laughs> Be cool, we just want your cargo. Think about it! Is that stuff worth your life? Let's go, Spidey. Jump on! I have a feeling there's more where that came from. Spider-Man, do me a favor and look up ahead. Car's wired to explode. Gotta try to neutralize him. Booyah! Dumped it. Woo. Better up there than down here. Neighborhood fireworks. If I was planning an attack, this is where I do it. You didn't get out. Last chance. Move it, guys. Get it unloaded. Booyah! 
not too late to surrender, or just start crying. You're not so scary, Nick. Hey, Spider, can you move that? You strong enough to move that thing? Good work, Spidey. Come on, we're moving out. These guys aren't messing around. Give them this, they're persistent. Car bombs. If they go off here, it'll be a disaster. And of course the Daily Bugle never gets pictures of me winning like this. Just in time. Close there. not far. Well, might as well check it out. My reputation's bad enough without getting blamed for pilfering Picassos. Just in, webs need something to stick to. <clears throat> hey, yo, I bet that's worth some bank. Hands off. Stick to the plan. We're waiting for the spider. You set off an alarm and bring the cops. No amount of money's gonna save you from the kingpin. You dig? <sighs> Setting a trap for me with idiots like this? <laughs> Not gonna happen. Better take out the cameras, or the cops will blame this all on me. Let's see what I can do before they figure out I'm here. What? Fellas, I got him! Come on, show me what you got! What I'm about to do to these crooks is unsafe. <laughs> Why can't they all be like that? Bam! There he is! Hey, Bone, ain't you? Field trips in reform school? Yeah, shut your mouth and do your job. The lady says museum, we go to the museum. Lots to steal in museums. Bert, I think I know Alicia, he's about to cross my path. Why am I not surprised? Oh, is our relationship getting predictable? Let me see what I did. 
Bad hair day. I see you. I, I expected better from you, Felicia. You could have hooked up with me. I mean, yeah, um, I meant work with me. Or take down bad guys instead of being one? But working for the kingpin, Felicia? Organized crime? You're better than that. Just a funny kid, ain't you? I fought tougher than you. Fight like this. this ain't right. We weren't supposed to fight the spider alone. You were supposed to help us, lady. Let that be a lesson to you, fellas. Follow a woman just because you like the way she fills out a cat suit? You'll be disappointed every time. Should I have served my time like a good little girl? Get out when I'm old and wrinkly? I don't think so. You're saying the Kingpin got you out of jail? How much power does this guy have? That's what it's all about, isn't it? Power. His, yours, and mine. <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. This trouble for little old me. You must really care. <laughs> you deliberately moving really slowly? Is this like some sort of mime thing? <laughs> It is a sticky, gooey, smelly sweat. Oh, right. I know I'm playing hard to get, but I'm worth it. Me to stand there. To you. I was transferred to Ravencroft. The Kingpin came to see me. Just to be clear, we're talking about Wilson Fitz. Yes. He said he knew I was after power and, 
And he could give it to me. You'd owe him. That's how it always works, isn't it? The doctors did experiments. They called it DNA crafting or crisscrossing. Cross-species genetics? You've seen what can happen. Why would you do that to yourself? Boy, you are thick. I did it for you, so I'd be like you, so we could be together. But then the Kingpin ordered me to kill you, or die myself. I couldn't. I can't. Felicia, I... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm not interested in your face, just your lips. I, I can get you help. Witness protection, a new life safe from the Kingpin. And maybe, maybe someday we can get to know each other like normal people. I don't want to be normal people. Run away with me. We'll go somewhere exotic. With our power, we can live like royalty. Adventure, excitement, romance. And that sounds terrible to you. No, but I've got responsibilities. Well, I'm not one of them. Don't worry about me. I've always done fine with a target on my back. I can't just let you go. Fisk owns too many cops. If I'm in custody, I'm as good as dead. You can't do that to me any more than I can do it to you. You ever decide you want some fun in your life? Look me up. Wait! wait. <laughs> it all makes sense. Fisk becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force. And the public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. <laughs> but it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more inside information on Fisk. And I've got an old friend who can get it. Go see Harry like this. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books. So technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but... After losing my dad and Uncle Ben... I guess I wanted to believe... You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? <sighs> Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father... Extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's got to be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. 
and his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure, but it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it, and protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. <sighs> but it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes... you still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. Him, but without the proper testing, my blood could actually make things worse. If my blood could cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. But it'll take time and lots of research to find out. And he's in no mood to wait. this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. You came. Thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different from me. I'm, I'm looking into it, I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune! They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross-species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I... No, no, just... just go. Harry's really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago, but I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. Craven! Time for a little mentor-mentee chat. Now discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. Looks empty. But maybe I can still find some answers. Craven must know I'm after him. He left and took most of his stuff. But he didn't have time to get it all. It's all 
for me. He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, how to beat them. And how best set a trap. You're a fake, a coward. This is your idea of a fair hunt. Oh no, it's only the prelude. <laughs> the antidote I gave you should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. You betrayed me. For the kingpin and his money! That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you would eliminate the kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the Kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. Cassidy was useful for a time. He sowed fear and mistrust. Ambush me from the trees. I can smell your fear. You wanted me to watch Cassidy kill that kid. Why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? It was a test to see how strong you could be. But I admit, you. I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Impossible. I studied you. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack a killer instinct. gets left out when I use the seismic blast. Don't feel bad, do not! Always one step behind. I get as angry as you do. I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. Death, you fight, go get me, boy! Spot in those trees, but I have to try. There is no escape. It's so be it. To the dead. No, that's your one. On my watch, no one dies. Beg you, kill me. Give me death over defeat. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven, but you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the kingpin, the truth, everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors, of which Fisk is the largest, now that Norman Osborne is dead. And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged. Useful only as test subjects. I know you. 
You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes, it's true. I met with Fisk in his building, where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. He has a Telec 4566 security system, and I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. The information I have given you will get you inside the building, but you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. <laughs>